I'm going to go on. I'm going to go off on a little tangent here, Virginia. So be with me just a second. You know, uh, when you start looking at the protocols for COVID, I think all of us have to take our, our risk evaluation of our health into our own hands. I have a very hard time with mandates. I, I just have a very hard time with mandates. But you just take the you just take the, the COVID protocols that are put out there. You look at Oklahoma, and a lot of people want to make a lot of uh, a lot of hay about the rising positive tests that are happening in Oklahoma. Uh, but the, the the real concern is it, it, that that people need to be looking at is the hospitalization rate, because there's a lot of false positives when when you start looking at a lot of COVID tests. But if you want to start talking about the the this two different states, the way they look. You look at Oklahoma, we're Oklahoma for the most part is open for business. Our governor has done a really good job of keeping us open. And our local mayors have done a good job about keeping their cities open. And we've been able to keep our businesses open. We've been able to keep people at work that work at those businesses and we've been able to keep our economy flowing. Uh, but have we seen a rise in, in, in positive tests? Yes. Have we seen an overwhelming run on our hospitals because of hospitalization no we still had more capacity we we only have roughly 1500 people hospitalized and we have the capacity to hold up to 5200 people in our hospital system um it with the covid covid positive individuals but you look at california where governor newsom has shut down their economy has shut down their state uh and they are inundated they are overflowing their morgue is overflowing their hospitals are overflowing with COVID patients, and yet they've had mass mandates that have been in place literally since the COVID first hit, and they have social distancing, they have stay-at-home orders, and yet they're not able to control it. So tell me which protocol is actually working here. Um, we, all, we all are responsible for our own health, and we're adults here, and we can make those decisions. And I, like I said, I commend our governor for keeping us open. 